Alrighty guys, I'm the devil, and welcome to something new on the channel. So, long ago I played this game called Stardew Valley, and I kind of want to return to it, you know? So we're going to click new, and some things have changed since I was last here, I, I believe, so let's just click random. Uh, you know what, we should probably go with a random, with a random stuff, so let's just um, find something that we like. Yeah, I like that, but I like that even better. So name. Um, what, what name should we go? We'll have a dog. I always pick a cat because I'm a cat person, so I think I'm going to go with a dog this time. Uh, and I think we'll go with Devil as my name. And the farm name will be... Um, I don't know, let's call it Tabba. Uh, my favourite thing, my favourite thing in the whole wide world is YouTube. So, we'll do that. Uh, we will keep the intro uh, because I haven't seen it in quite a while. So, this game is very similar to well, you probably know what this game is about by now. Uh, but it's very similar to an old game called Harvest Moon. Uh, and I played Harvest Moon a lot as a kid and I loved the game series. So, I really do love this game. But, I've never really fully completed this game or really done much with it. I've just had a little play around here and there with the game and, um, yeah. Okay, my apologies for that, guys. Uh, I looked at my recording software and the game audio was stuck. It wasn't, like, bouncing up and down like it normally does. Uh, so I had to restart my recording program. But, um, yeah, so we've got different kind of farms. We've got a standard farm, which is a simple plot of land with a large amount of open space, uh, which I kind of like the standard farm. Uh, we've got the river land, which is spread across several islands and scenic riverbanks. Uh, we got the forest farm, which I actually used on the um, Xbox One, so I'm not going to use that one. We got the hilltop ro uh, farm, which is a rocky terrain and a winding river, making it difficult to design your farm. Uh, and we got the wilderness um, farm here. Uh, I think I'm just going to go with the standard farm. Uh, I, I've played around with these, and I prefer the standard farm because I like the um, the open space. So uh, that that's kind of cool. So. This is our, this is our grandfather. Uh, you could definitely tell if you play if you go and play any of the old Harvest Moon games, you can definitely tell that this is inspired by them. And for my very special grandson, I want you to have this sealed envelope. No, no, don't open it yet. Have patience. Now listen close. There will come a day when you feel crushed by the burden of modern life. Gee, that's every day. And your bright spirit will fade before growing in emptiness. Okay, you, you really take too long to tell me this. When that happens, my boy, you'll be ready for this gift. Now, let Grandpa rest. 20 years later. Or XX amount of years later. Work, work, work. Torture! I'm so glad I don't work in an office like that. I'm, I'm so happy I work from home. But yeah. We're working at the Jar Jar Corp. Jar Jar. Also, Jar Jar Corporation. Like the singer. Uh, but it's actually an A. It looks like a JoJo on the Xbox One. There we are. We're going frustrated with the daily life. That's, that's me. I'm on the grind. I'm at my computer almost all the time. Uh, apart from this week, I got, I got a lot of stuff to take care of around the house this week. Uh, I've been neglecting some DIY stuff, and I, I need to take care of that this week. Uh, along with a lot of other stuff. Uh, Dear Devil, if you're reading this, you must be in dire need of a change. The same thing happened to me long ago. I'd lost sight of what mattered most in life, real connections with other people and nature. So I dropped everything and moved to this place I truly belong. I've enclosed a deed to that place, my pride and joy, Terra Farm. It's located in Stardew Valley on the southern coast. It's the perfect place to start your new life. This was my most precious gift of all, and now it's yours. I know you'll honor the family name, my boy. Good luck. Love, Grandpa. Now. Uh, if you don't know what Terra means, uh, Terra is Latin for the um, for Earth, 
it's just a way to describe the world. It's Latin. So, yeah. P.S. If Lewis is still alive, say hi to the old guy for me, will you? Absolutely. So, I believe we can complete this game right now. Uh, I believe we get offered the farm and you can say no. I, I can't remember if you're doing this game or not. I know you're doing the Harvest Moon series. Uh, but if we get offered the, the farm, we are going to accept it. Because it's pointless doing the last play. It's going to be over in two minutes, isn't it? So yeah, there's probably going to be a few episodes of this this week. Because I just it's, this is just sit down, record, sit down, record for like 20 minutes, 30 minutes. And I don't have to do a bunch of cuts. So. See. My, 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 this is my thought process. If I can get through this month's work this week, uh, and I put my effort into it, then that means I've got three weeks where I can focus primarily on YouTube. And that's what I want to do. So one week of low quality content uh, for three weeks of good quality, I think is, is good. Hello, you must be devil. Where's my cursor? Thank you. I'm Robin. The local carpenter, Mayor Lewis, sent here to fetch you and show you the way to your new home. He's there, right now, tidying things up for your arrival. The farm's right over here if you'll follow me. Now, Robin was a girl that I wanted to marry on this game. I liked Robin, but unfortunately, sh she's married and you can't actually marry her. Which is kind of sad. This is Terra Farm. So we, we got a little bit of work to do on it. It's, it's a little bit run down. Okay, it's a lot run down. What's the matter? Sure, it's a bit overgrown, but there's some good soil underneath that mess. With a little dedication, you'll have it cleaned up in no time. And here we are, your new home. Ah, the new farmer. Welcome, I'm Lewis, Mayor of Pelican Town. You know, everyone's been asking about you. It's not every day that someone new moves in. It's quite a big deal. So you're moving into your grandfather's old cottage. It's a good house, very rustic. Yeah, it's a little bit more down. We've got all this wood here that we can't actually use, unfortunately. Rustic's one way to put it. Rusty might be a little more appropriate, though. <laughs> rude. I never actually did that little scene there. Don't listen to her, devil. She's just trying to make you dissatisfied so that you buy one of your house upgrades. So we can buy, we can buy like, upgrades and farm buildings and stuff from... Oh, I didn't read that. Tomorrow you ought to explore the town a bit and introduce yourself. The townspeople would appreciate that. So... Yeah, uh, she sells those upgrades for a house, for a farm and stuff like that. Oh, I almost forgot, if you have anything to sell, just place it in this box here. I'll come by during the night to collect it. Well, good luck. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Uh, so we can actually start our day. So it's, it's, I haven't seen this opening scene since I very first played this game when it first came out. Uh, I've skipped it ever since then, so it's kind of nice to see that opening scene again. And see some of those things. Uh, so, the buttons are just pretty much normal, W, A, S, D for move, uh, shift, it says shift to run, but you hold shift and it walks. Uh, so think like we've got auto run on and, and right click is to check. So we got some uh, parsnip seeds, we got some, some new journal in, entries. Um, now, you can learn to cook, oops, um, weather report, forge tell, living off the land, there'll be a cooking show here and it'll teach you how to cook, so. We need to check that every day so we learn all of our cooking recipes. Uh, and there is there's a lot to do, so I think I think the first thing we should probably do is set about getting ourselves some some nice little crops going and get ourselves a little bit of a farm going. Nowhere's open just quite yet. So let's do this and get rid of this. So I think we'll just set up a little bit of a farm like sort of right outside the house here. It's probably the best place to do it, no. Uh, axe. So. We'll grab that. Um, yeah, we, we'll, we'll clear out this area here. So. I always like to start, so like, in this corner here. So. 
It's a bit strange. I was using a, a controller the last time I played this game. I played this game a lot at the beginning of last year on the Xbox. So, uh, we're playing the Steam version. The Steam version was the first version of the game that I actually bought and then bought it on the, on the Xbox One. Let's go ahead and try and get the achievements. But unfortunately, I gave up achievement hunting when I decided to uh, to do YouTube like a full time job. I don't do it full time, but I try and put as many hours into it as I can. So there we go. So now we've got we've got 15 parsnip seeds and two mixed seed seeds. So we can go one, two, three, four, five, six. That's not actually where I wanted to place that. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So we'll just like etch out just a couple of lines here for some crops. Now, unfortunately, our energy is going down, but we will increase our energy over time. So let's just plant ourselves some nice little parsnips. Get these growing. And there we go, that's that. And then we'll go that. And now, okay, and now let's water it. So our watering can's already full, which is good for us. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I, my, my brain has gone completely blank at the minute, which is unfortunate. But we're, we're gonna get these crops watered, then we're gonna go into town, we're gonna see some people. We're gonna do a little bit of foraging as well, uh, which is really kind of good. It's one of the things that I like to do in the game, is, is do a little bit of foraging, so. Uh, we should probably pick that up. Uh, we can actually fill this, which gets us a little bit of a relationship upgrade with our dog. So we'll, we'll do that. Let's switch to our pickaxe. But there's nothing in here at the minute. You can have it grow mushrooms or you can have it grow fruit bats. I think we'll go with the fruit bat option because I went with the mushrooms before. Uh, so if, if you look around, we're looking for like little worms here as well. So there's, there's nothing to really forage up here at the minute. Uh, again, there's nothing here. An earthquake unlocks this area a little later on. Uh, we got a little wild horseradish here that we can pick up. So, Lewis lives here. I think it's no, it's not Lewis. It's um, oh, what's his name? I forgot his name. Who lives here? So we'll see how many of them I can actually remember. So here he is. What is his name? Linus. I know it was something like that or Linus. However you want to pronounce that word. Uh, that's currently off off limits. That's fine. You can actually chop. Uh, actually, I don't know if you can chop down these particular trees here or not. But I suppose we'll find out. Here we are. Look, and you can actually come here and you can find out things. We got a little bit of coal there. This is Robin's house. This is where you can come to um, to to buy upgrades. Now, if you come around here and you talk to her, uh, you actually talk to her. If you come here, you actually approach a shop, okay? Uh, and we can shop, we can buy some things. So, yeah, we're not going to buy anything yet. Uh, we've got Manu. I think she's the roommate. I don't think she's actually the kid. Uh, and then we've got his, her husband, Demetrius. Uh, you can't actually go in their rooms unless you have a good enough relationship. So, we're going to avoid their rooms for now. Uh, we go down here, we go to the town. And again, we're just keeping our eyes peeled for for other things. So, oh, that's right. I actually cannot carry that. Uh, I completely forgot about inventory space. Um, so perhaps we ought to go back to. Now we go here. This is where we can get we can accept quests. Um, but there's no quests for us just yet, so I'm not going to go to the shop today because we've only got 500 and I think... Actually, I probably should buy some seeds for that. So this is a bus stop up here. And again, you can see some, some flowers here. Uh, we'll probably come back here and pick this up. I just want to... I want to get enough wood together now for a, a good old chest. And I think that... Um, we could craft a chest, can't we? Yes, it costs 50 wood, so. Let's, let's get ourselves chopping down a little bit of wood. Uh, get ourselves a little chest. Come on. And. Oh, that almost got us enough. Just 
just make sure I didn't like miss any in this long grass. 46, 47, 48. Counting with the devil. Yeah, counting simulated now, not Stardew Valley. Oops. Okay. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go um, E. We are going to um, do that. Uh, and we are going to, to place that down. Nope. Uh, and then we just go ahead and we can just click everything in here. So I actually only want my hoe on me right now. Uh, because I, I want to keep our inventory space. So I think we will go to the shops and I think we will buy some more seeds to, to plant. I think we'll buy some of the ones that take quite a while to grow. That gives us most of the season to grow them in. Uh, we can pick up some of these. Now, the more you forage, the higher your forage level goes up. And the higher the chance that these guys are going to be more rarer. Because um, you can get different stars. You can get a silver star, you can get a gold star, and you can get a purple star. The purple star is extremely rare. I don't think there's ever anything in that tunnel. But there is sometimes a little something there. Uh, you probably saw a minecart up there. We'll, we'll talk about that in a later episode. We unlock those as we go through. So. Yes, there is that. Now. Let's go and buy ourselves some seeds, and then we'll go and have a little look around, and... This is the doctor's, this is where we end up if we die. So let's, let's meet it's Slea. Yes it is. Nice to meet you, Sue. Uh, let's go around the back of the till just so we can meet Paia. Okay, he's just talking about seeds. Uh, so... These bean stars keep producing after, so... The cauliflowers... Uh, so we're going to buy four of those, we'll buy a couple of bean starters, uh, and we'll buy a potato. Yeah, unfortunately that's all we could afford at the minute. Uh, that probably cleaned us out. You can actually also ransack garbage cans. Uh, you don't always find anything, but sometimes you do, sometimes you do. So, uh, the beach is down here, but we're not going to go to the beach today. We will go to the beach, but not 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 today in game. Probably, well, actually, probably not tomorrow in game. Probably tomorrow in game, which probably actually be tomorrow's episode. But I did I did want to bring you out here because this is where you can find a lot of really good stuff. So you can sort of this is a good place to come for artifacts uh, during the winter. Uh, there's usually like quite a few trees and stuff uh, that you can forage. Sometimes over here, there's a caravan that'll appear around here. That'll sell some really rare seeds and just some really good stuff that comes in handy. The wizard lives over here. This is like a tour. Uh, there's a cat down here that sells hats. I don't know if the cat's here just yet or not. Uh, but there, there's a... We'll, we'll have that. So there, there's like an algorithm that determines how many uh, foraging items that you will find. Uh, and it, You can only ever find things like four or five in a certain area. At the time or something, and once that cap's hit, no more spawns. So it's, so it's good to come like foraging every couple of days. You don't need to do it every day, just every couple of days. And for the most part, you'll end up getting the majority of things. But if you actually come down here, uh, this is the exception because down here, you can actually find these, these spring onions, which are uh, uh, just a good source of early game money. They don't give a lot, but because you can find a ton of them, like we've got, what, 14? No, sorry. There we go, we got a gold one lock. So let's pick this up. And we'll pick this one up as well. Okay. So now we should head back to our farm. Now you can head back to the farm from down below here. But I think that... I think that I'm going to say no to, to heading down below. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually go around and go back up. Just because there's going to be some blockage. We're, we're running low on energy. And I do want to plant uh, these seeds that we bought today. Today I want to get them planted. Artist lives there. I forgot her name. Uh, I even forgot the name of the woman that I married on this game. Uh, but she lives She lives in one of these two houses. Caroline, I think her name was. Uh, married her on the Xbox One. But as you can see, we're starting to get late. We're starting to, uh, to get... You can actually go till 2am 2 2 uh, before it forces you to sleep. 
uh, you just pass out and wake up the next morning. Uh, but we're not going to do that. We're not going to go to sleep. We're not going to fall asleep like that. We're actually going to go to bed uh, and call the day there. But um, I actually want to come back to the the farm first, and I want to plant these seeds, like I said, because these seeds are gonna these seeds are gonna be helpful to us in a numerous way, numerous ways. Uh, so actually, let's go to our chest. Uh, we can put away some of this stuff. Uh, I actually want to sell these spring onions, uh, but I want that. Uh, I think that's all that I need. So, oops, that was not in line. So let's just do this. Uh, plant that, 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 and I want to plant these in a 4x4, four because four, I think if you plant cauliflower in 4x4, four four, it generates a big cauliflower, but I think that's only on the PC. I don't think it actually does that on the console. Uh, maybe it does now, but I don't think it did when I actually read up about it. So there we go, we got all those planted. Now, uh, we will do some selling for the first time. Uh, so we will grab... Oh, I, I grabbed my spring onions. That's cool, that's cool, that's cool, that's cool, cool. Uh, we'll go over here and we'll actually sell our spring onions. Now, it saves at night. So I am going to let you see the next day just a little bit. Uh, so you go to sleep for the night. Yep. Okay, so here we go. We got, we foraged. We got a level up of foraging. So we got a bit of axe proficiency. Trees will now drop seeds. Uh, we got a couple of new crafting recipes, okay? Um, I thought this actually came up after the save screen, but evidently it doesn't. So, I think it saved. Yeah, there we go. We saved now. So, yeah, I think I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to call that episode here, guys. So, if you have enjoyed the video, please do consider leaving it a like. And, well, yeah, please do leave that like. It's really help in English. I can't, I can't speak. I can't speak. <laughs> if you've enjoyed the video, please do consider leaving it. I still can't speak. Yeah, like. And then click subscribe if you want to see more from me. I'm the devil. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. And I'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye.